Welcome back to Silver Run. I got a container. Filled it full of logs. And now we're going to get it sold. As a matter of fact, I got two of these full. And yes, I'm still in August. <laughs> Episode 4. We're still in the same month. We'll get there eventually, I promise. Let's go ahead and get this loaded up here. Now I'm gonna do something a little different. Now I don't have a trailer. I don't think I should drive down the road with this container like it is. So I'm gonna try something. I don't know if this will work. You guys are gonna see firsthand a little experiment. So I need to find the closest place I can rent the train so let's see we got one down here we got one up there so let's actually well, let's link over here and we'll take a little jog over here and rent the train let me turn on my help menu here so I can see what I'm doing I think it's going to be this box here yep that's it rent train all right so the train should show up here and I think we can just drive it right around over there and there is one flatbed car on the train so we'll get that loaded with those containers and then we will drive it up what I'll do is I'll let a helper drive the loader up to the sawmill and we'll drive the train <laughs> and hope this works I don't know so we're down to eighteen thousand dollars and I need some cash because we got a couple things we need to do. We need to get some lime out on that field. And we need to get a rock breaker so that we can get some of these rocks out of here. Which means we'll need a skid steer. So either we have to lease one or we can buy one. I don't know. But while we are waiting on the train, I don't know, know quite how long it'll take. Let's hop in here. Got this set up and I hadn't shown you guys the setup here with the cutter head on it so uh, I've got these logs over here set to 12 meters I'm trying to cut a few uh, a few of these logs a little bit longer just so that we can uh, take those off at some point in the future but this uh, cutter head works really well the the uh, excavator has plenty of weight to handle it, so I really like it. I think this is a great setup. That one did not fall where it's going to be able to be put down on that pile. So what, let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to back on up here. Let's just drop it on this other side. So hopefully, by cutting these at 12 meters, I'll be able to uh, use a longer trailer at some point, and I have to load so many logs. Let's see, has the train arrived? It has. All right, we'll shut that down there, and let's bump back over here and go hop in the train. Got the crossing arms down. 
I better move on. Folks be mad at me. I have not seen the inside of this train. I like that. That looks cool. Does have a safety beacon? I don't know that I've ever seen a safety beacon on a train. Alright, so I need, let's see, which car do we need? The second car. Let's make sure there's nothing that it will uh, do to open up or anything like that. Okay. Let's hope this works. So this car is actually pretty long. So I'm pretty sure we can get both of these containers on there. It should fit. So let's give it a shot. And I did have to buy this uh, pallet for it to go on the loader. Oh yeah, it's going to fit on there, no problem. Let's, oh, oh, oh. Let's see, I need to get lined up a little bit better. This thing's just so twitchy because of the articulated steering. Of course, I am using a controller. Uh, possibly a steering wheel may be a little smoother. I think that'll work right there. Now, are there straps? Uh, yes. Okay. Let's put those on. That's actually pretty neat. And now we'll get this other container. So it's looking like you probably put three of these containers on. Uh, these are the six meter containers. So three of the six well, six meters appears to fit. Or appears that it should fit. We'll get this other one on there and be able to look a little better. Well, I had it lined up there, and it went a jar there <laughs> at the very end. Is that all the straps? We there's got to be one here. So, there it is. So there we go. We have our Connex containers loaded up there. We could put one more back here if we wanted to. So uh, it looks like it's about 18 meters long. That uh, trailer or the uh, flatbed. might uh, be some useful information for some of you guys so I, I have already got a course set up to the sawmill so I'm gonna let a worker drive this up there all right so that's going there so we'll hop out and then we're gonna go jump in the train and meet him up there So, technically, I guess you could stack uh, your your timber here beside the railway and then load into these uh, these log carts and take it to the sawmill as well. Now, that means you would have to load it and unload it, but it is doable. And I'm assuming that this is for pallets? I don't know. All right, so I think, let me just look at the rail system here I believe that we're going oh can we go this way 
Huh. I wonder, can we take a right? And go around? I don't... I don't think so. Let's try. Maybe there's a switcher up here? I don't know. I'll turn on the help menu just so we can see. Kind of guessing that we're let's see is it going to go right or left here nope it's going to go left okay let's slow it down slow it down and we'll go in reverse back up to the uh the sawmill sorry about that folks <laughs> I really like the uh, rail rail yard here. Uh, they've done a really good job on this map. Is it really looks like a U.S. town? I mean, it really does. So here's our place that we're working on, working on. You see, I have done quite a bit of clearing. Uh, we're starting to get it cleared out, and. Uh, opened up so we can plant some crops in it. Um, one thing I will need to look at eventually is replanting some of the trees. So we'll need to uh, work on that at some point in the future. Uh, but right now, I'm mainly focused on getting this timber sold. And then we may, may actually have to pick up a couple contracts uh, to get a little cash back into our pockets. I, <laughs> I messed up with the loader. I think I messed up with the excavator too. Uh, those were just big purchases right on, right out of the gate that I probably should not have made. But what's done is done, so we're going to carry on and hopefully we'll be okay. Right, so we're up here at the at the uh, sawmill, so I'm going to start slowing down. There's actually a loading ramp over here. Not that we need it, but we will use it because that's where the uh, sell point is for these. Uh, for the uh, containers. So we can take them right off. Oh, no, I did not. Nope, oh, nope. Oh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to see if I can't take the straps off in the train. And I should have said all aboard <laughs> in the train. Let's see. I can I not? Oh, let's see. Uh, we'll get it here in a second. We'll, there we go. There we go. I will shut the train down so it doesn't wander off. And let's go find... Our excavator, which is in the pond. So I do have the uh, cell point or the uh, drop off location set up there to uh, help with running some timber up. Let's see, do we have anything? Yeah, we do. We have one pallet of something, some boards. That's exciting. Starting to get some wood chips there in the uh, wood chip bin. I don't know what you would really call that. Alright, so right here is where we can sell these containers. And let's just double check at the uh, menu. I, I want to make sure. So if we scroll down. Yeah, there is not a container specific uh, item here. So we are just selling the wood. And let's see, where's the wood? There it is. Uh, container warehouse, that's where we're at. 
Actually, it's got the best price right now, so that is good. So the only thing that I, I don't know is we have to buy these containers, and I think they were $3,000, almost $4,000 for these 6-meter containers. And I have that rail, that rail crossing blocked. Oh well. Six, uh, just shy of $4,000. So I don't know, I don't know if that's worth it because you have to buy these containers. I don't know. But we do have, uh, 21,700 liters of wood. Oh, it's going. Whoa! Eighty-six thousand dollars? <laughs> oh, doggy! It's worth it. It's worth it. Wow! Yes, sir, re Bob. That is awesome. Oh, I cannot. There we go. Well, that's a shocker. <laughs> yeah. That is a pleasant surprise. Another $86,384. Jackpot. That is the ticket. That's the ticket. So we're back in it. Back in the money. <laughs> Almost back up to 200000 So that is really, really cool. That was totally worth the effort. Now we'll have to say... Uh, getting those logs in the container is a little tedious, but I did find if you use uh, like this big wheel loader, if you have a bunch of logs in your grapple, you can get it if you get right up to the front of the container and just wiggle that nose over. It'll do just enough to get those uh, logs to go in right out of your grapple, so uh, it's not too bad. It moves pretty quickly. The only thing, uh, I did get a warning a couple times because I undoubtedly put some logs in that were the wrong length. It was the tips that had been cut a little short of six meters. And I got a warning saying that I was going to get a reduced price. Uh, but I think that was the same price on both of those containers. So uh, either way, I will take it. I'll take it. So... What are we going to do now? I think what we're going to do, we could get those rocks out and start uh, breaking up some ground. How much is the, let's see how much the, oh, is it still driving? Well, that's, that's scary. <laughs> we got to hurry. Uh, $180,000. Ooh, we're on the wrong, wrong side. 180,000. Huh. We could get some iron going if we wanted to. That that may be what we should do. Those containers, that that's too easy. That's too easy. Um Yeah, I don't know why you would want to load it in a uh, log trailer. Well, I guess if you want to bring it down to your your lumber yard, I guess that would make sense. But packing it up into those containers, if you were just selling the timber, that is the ticket. Oh, do I have to return the train? Uh, I don't know. I need to check on that. Let's let a helper take this on over to the farm location and let me run over here and see if I need to return this train. Because it is just sitting up there and I don't know what's going to happen to it. Yep, that's what I need to do, return. Alright, so that is good. Very, very good. Uh, let's see. So, what are we going to do next? Man, I really want to get that smelting location uh, set up. 
Huh. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do that. I think I am. Let's go ahead and just break the bank and get the iron furnace or whatever it's called. Let's see. Yeah, iron furnace set up. So let's see. We have that's the input. I think the output is somewhere. Let's turn on the trigger markers real quick. And let's get it set in here. I do have some rocks right here. I'm not seeing any more. I think we're clear to put something in right here. So let's go ahead and try it. Uh, what are we looking for? Production. Alright, where is the, the output? Okay, so it is back here. So I want the output to be on this side. Where is that going to leave the input? It's on the back side. I think that'll work pretty good. So let's just tuck it in right... Right here, I think. Let's turn it just a bit, I think. Gives us some space to operate around it. There we go. Now we have an iron smelting location. So uh, let's check the productions. There we go. So we need some iron ore. So let's go get some. And what I'm gonna, I, well, I can't blink up there. Oh, I should drive a tractor. I'm gonna have to drive a tractor. But you know what I can do? Let's see. Can we hop to the... I think we can. Yep. Alright. So we're up here. Little... Fast movement activity there. Turn the triggers back off. Now, I have actually been up here. And went ahead and loaded up this Volvo. So this equipment is up here for anybody's use. So I've actually loaded up uh, some of this ore that just keeps dropping out. And you see we have filled up the trailer. So let's go ahead and hop in here. Ideally, we would have an auto drive course set up up here. And at some point, I probably will do that. And let me check and see which way I need to go to get, to get back. Uh, we're going to want to take... Looks like that second road. I think <laughs> there are roads winding all over the place here. Yeah, we'll just stick to the main road. So only 5,400 liters bits in here. And the camera is going to be wiggling back and forth because we're in an articulated vehicle. And it goes really slow. <laughs> so we have quite the trek back to the farm. But we'll go ahead and get this first load put into the smelting facility. And get that going. We collide. We break down. Cave in. Faces filled with sadness When words are said with regret I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say them
take a little shortcut here around the pond since I do own this land we'll just drive across it and it's a relatively smooth so it works out okay so that was quite a journey uh, <laughs> it takes several minutes in real time uh, this little cart here does not have quite enough power to maintain its speed in the hills so it struggled a bit definitely struggled so uh, that's gonna be tough that's gonna be tough uh, probably get some kind of helper course set up to help us out with that so let's go ahead and unload here into our factory up the chute or conveyor it goes all right let's see what that got us to in the uh, Ooh, not, <laughs> not much. But I don't know how fast it's going to go through this. Probably pretty fast. So we do need to make some more trips. I'll definitely get an auto drive course set up to help me with that. And then we will see what it makes. So <laughs> this episode's taking some time. So we're at 4.20 p.m. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to do some uh, field work off camera. We've all seen liming and seeding uh, a million times. So what I'm going to do is pick up a uh, small lime spreader and a small seeder. And we'll put some grass over in that other field. Get it. Go ahead and get it seeded so it can be growing. And then I'm going to work off camera for a bit. We're going to try to have the next episode be in September and see where we're at then. Uh, those shipping containers, that really intrigues me. I think we will be using those quite a bit more. So that was a, that was a fantastic way to make some cash. So I'm glad to have stumbled across that. So it worked out really well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, remember to click the thumbs up button if you like the video. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that today. And we will see you next time. <laughs>